Hey guys, it's Alex VA back here with another video, and this is part one to the Finny X listener series, um, Neighbors to Lovers. So basically, the series is gonna go from um, strangers to neighbors to acquaintances to friends to lovers. So yeah, let's get into it. So you just moved to um, a new house after um, a divorce that you and your mom had. Um, so you, you know, you lived wherever you used to live and your mom wanted to get away from there because like, you know, your dad lives there. She doesn't love her dad, your dad anymore. Your dad's done a couple things to you that aren't um, the best. <laughs> and um, so you guys decided to move to Denver. Um, because your mom has family down there. Um, and so you guys moved to Denver and you happen to live right next to the Blake house. Listener, honey, will you please go and grab, um, the stuff from the back of the car? I have to go put this stuff away in the kitchen and I'll be right back out to help you bring your stuff to your room, okay? So you go to the back of the car and you grab um, just a box of your stuff and you know you start walking into your house and you go over to your room and you set it down on what you have of your bed right now and you just you know you kind of sit on the mattress you like you know you stare down at the ground and you're like wow like gosh whole new parents like I don't have my dad around um it's only mom like gosh, um, whole new town, whole new room, whole new bed, like, everything's different now. So you're just sitting there, you know, staring off into space on the ground, and you hear your mom's voice calling you, so, you know, you get up, and you run outside, and you help her with the rest of the boxes, and, you know, you're in your room, um, after getting all the boxes and stuff put away, you're in your room, you know, just um, putting, you know, your stuff where you want it, making your bed, making your room look nice and, um, pretty and, you know, good looking, and, um, you walk into the living room where your mom is setting up the couch, and you go up to her, and she's like, listener, like, you've done enough today, how about you go and explore the town, um, and then she's like, we'll go visit your grandparents, um, in a little bit, and we can go say hi to them. And you're like, okay, fine. So, you walk outside. And, you know, you look around. It's a pretty nice town. There's kids out and around. It looks like there's a baseball field not too far um, from where you're at. Uh, there's a grab-and-go not too far either. So, you decide that you're going to walk down to the grab-and-go. Because, well, you have a little bit of money that you grab from your piggy bank. And, you know, you could buy some snacks. Maybe meet some friends. So you walk down to the grab and go and open the door. When you walk in, you're greeted by a nice young looking lady um, at the cash register who waves at you and with a small little smile. And then you look to your right to see a blonde um, male, a long haired um, blonde male on the pinball machine. You decide to leave him alone because, well, you don't know how he's going to react. And you walk over to the drinks where you go over there and you grab whatever you want. And you head over to the snacks and you grab a bag of chips and a bag of candy. And you go over to the cash beer. Will this be it for you? Okay, uh, your total is 10 20 Thank you. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around before. Did you just move here? Oh, cool. Um, my name is Wendy. I work here most of the time. Uh, there's another lady here. She's a little bit older than me. Um, I think her name is Linda. Um, she's super nice. It's nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Listener. That, that's a very unique name. I don't think I've ever heard that name. Well, it's nice to meet you. Um, nine. Um, I hope to see you around. 
enjoy the snacks. So you walk out of the grab and go and you start walking back to your house and you're stopped um, by a guy and what you think to be is his sister. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Here, let me help you. Oh, hi. Um, here's your drinks. Hey, you're the new kid that moved in, right? Yeah, you live right next to me and my sister Gwen. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm I'm Finny. Nice to meet you. Uh, Finny Blake. And I'm Gwen. Yeah, um, we're the Blake children. We live right next to you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, too. Um, how old are you? Holy crap, me too. Yeah. Hey, um, since you're new here, do you want to hang out with us? We were planning on going down to a park that was just across from here. We were going to hang out with my um, friend Robin. You can meet him, too. Yeah, let's go. Come on. So you, Finny, and Gwen all walk to this park. And um you guys are, you know, walking there. And it's not that far from the grab and go. So he's kind of like showing you around and stuff, like on the way there. You guys pass by the grab and go, uh the library. And then you guys get to the park. And you guys are like sitting, um, at a bench waiting for this other friend and you see a um filipino um guy uh with a bandana with and long dark hair like you know cascading down his neck and like he starts walking towards you guys and you're like there's no way this is the robin dude like he's way too good looking and it is it's it's robin uh he comes by and he's like hey finn like what's up and you know they talk for a bit and he looks at you and he's like who's this and gwen is like oh this is listener listener say hi this is robin and you know you're like hi nice to nice to meet you and he's like nice to meet you too and he like you know he shakes your hand and you're like manners too oh my god <laughs> And, um, Finny just kind of laughs, and he's like, yeah, this is Robin, um, he's been my best friend since kindergarten, um, and, you know, and everything, telling you about him, and he's like, um, you know, all of that, and you're like, okay, cool, like, that's nice, and, um, you know, you guys go and hang out for a bit, like, around town, and, um, Robin's like, hey, I gotta go home, like, my uncle is, um, uh, he's cooking dinner tonight, and he wants to be home at a specific time, because they don't taste good when it's not, like, you know, cold. So, he goes home, and Finney's like, hey, like, I'll walk you home, especially, like, I can walk you home, I mean, we live right next to each other, it's fine. So, that's what you guys do. You guys start, you know, walking home. And Gwen is, like, in front of you guys, you know, running around and stuff. You know, being her happy little self. And you guys get to his house, and he's like, okay, like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Um, like, can't wait to see you again. And, you know, you watch him walk off into his house. Um, and then you go, like, you go into your house, and, um... Your mom's sitting there on the couch, uh, watching some TV, um, and she looks at you, and she's like, oh, hey, listener, where, where, where have you been? And, you know, you just told her, you were like, oh, I was out with some friends, and she looked at you, and she's like, ooh, you made some friends? And she, like, you know, pats down on the couch next to her, and she's like, tell me about them. So you sit down, and, you know, you tell them, or you tell her about, um, if any, Robin and Gwen, and she's, and she's like, oh, cool. And she's like, wait, isn't Finny and Gwen the kids that live right next to us? And she, and you're like, yeah, actually, um, I met them on my way back home. And she's like, oh, holy crap, really? And 
like, yeah, I really did. And she's like, oh, okay, that's actually, like, kind of cool. And you're like, yeah, it is. And she looked at you, and she's like, hey, like, is everything okay? Like, you don't, you don't seem like yourself. And you're like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. And, you know, you, you start walking back up the stairs. And you lay down in your bed. You know, just kind of sit there and lay down. And, you know, you're just staring up into the ceiling. And you start thinking of Finny and you don't know what's going on like you're just all of a sudden oh my god like fantasizing over Finny and you're like you don't know what's going on so you're like you know what I'm gonna sleep it off it's probably you know because I just met him I'm gonna sleep it off so you lay down and you go to sleep and I'm gonna end it there um Sorry, this is the first part, so it's going to be very um, awkward and not very talky because I still, I kind of have to build a foundation about this and then move on because I don't use scripts. I, I just, I can't write scripts. They, they don't work for me. So, oh my god, you just met Finny and he can't wait to see you again. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I'm gonna make a part two. I don't know when. Maybe tomorrow. Um, maybe next day. I don't know. Um, but I'm sorry I didn't post yesterday. I mean, yesterday was New Year's uh, Eve, so I was pretty busy. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I'll make a part two to this either tomorrow, like sometime in the week. I know I will make a part two and I will give it to you guys. So yeah, um, you guys, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your morning, day, or night. Bye-bye.